So the fuel economy on the Jeep is started to go get kind of crappy. I'm um, not really sure what's going on, but I thought I would start with the PCV valves, change them out. Um, seems to be a recommendation, and I don't, I've never done it since I owned the Jeep. I don't know how long they've been in it. So I um, watched a bunch of videos on it. Looks like you can run into some struggles. We'll see how mine goes. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, we're going to start by removing this front vent tube. I'm going to see. I ran the Jeep for, took it for a good run to get it nice and warm. So hopefully um, this will help soften the rubbers and allow this stuff to come out a little bit easier. I've watched a couple different videos. I don't really know how well this is going to work. But I'm going to try a diff couple different things. I'm just going to use this pry bar here and see if I can't grab onto it and just pop it up, use the pry bar as support. Give it a little bit of turn. Oh, look at that. I don't think you get that lucky that often, but that just popped out perfectly. So I'll replace the, the rubber seal and put the new one in. Really can't believe that went that easy. I ordered these off Amazon, the Dorman uh, PV or PCV grommet uh, part number four two three four four, and for the front cover or uh, front elbow is going to be four seven zero seven nine. Crack these open and get them installed. Man, that's awesome how easy that one is. The back one's going to get me now, I'm sure. Put this in. Haha, <laughs> easier said than done. Let's take that front one back out. Put this through. That's in good. And now let's try putting it in. This is where I'm going to shoot myself in the foot, I'm sure of it. Yep. <laughs> Got too excited too quick. I'm going to go back this way again. Seem to go nicer when I put that in. There. Okay, in. There we go. And that. Push that back on. That's 50% of the way done. That is awesome. Just going to give this one a quick clean with some brake clean before we start. And hopefully it goes as easy as that last one did. That was awesome. Maybe tip the hood right up and get it right out of the way. So how forgiving are you going to be? Be bad either. Okay. Oh, that's going to be a little bit snug. But you know what? Look at that. I'm just getting lucky. That was real easy. Real easy job. So when you're putting them in, just be sure that you're putting the right one in a proper place. This one's closed off, um, different valve style. And the front one's open like this. So for the back, we're gonna use the same grommet, 
42344. And for the back uh, PCV, we're going to use 47057. back up man that's awesome that that was that easy so I don't know I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and the guys really struggled with that um, maybe maybe the key is get the truck good and warm bring it up to operating temperature I took it for like a 20 minute rip before I started this and that was nothing wow a lot easier than I thought well, I gotta say, that went a lot better than I was expecting. Um, really impressed with how well that went. I think the big thing that made it that much easier was the fact that I took it for a 20 minute drive, got it up to operating temperatures, and that everything was nice and warm and soft. Um, I think that was really the trick. Uh, some of the other guys struggled in their videos, but I, I think I just got lucky in this particular case. Really happy with how it went. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you didn't get to see me really go through any struggles, so I guess it can be this easy. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please leave me a thumbs up or a comment down below. And if you want to see more content like this, um, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.